Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. If you are new to this platform, this is the channel where we look at the love, relationships, and energy around some of our favorite celebrities and influencers. If you are returning to this channel, thank you so much for contributing to its continued growth. In this reading, we are going to be looking at the love and relationship and soul connection between Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan. So let's get right into it. This reading is for Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan. We're going to start off by looking at relationships past. The Tower <clears throat> with the Princess of Swords, the Four of Discs with the Death card, the Eight of Discs with the World, the Three of Discs with the Eight of Cups, and the King of Wands with the Five of Cups, and then the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is relationships past. This energy is coming across as Lori's. And this energy is coming across as Michael's with this energy shared in between. The Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck is symbolizing missed opportunities. So for Lori, I wouldn't, I, I would say Prior to this relationship with Michael B. Jordan, there really wasn't anything from the past that was particularly notable. And maybe there were some missed opportunities, that, missed opportunities I use lightly, right? Um, or just things that just like didn't connect with other people. But as soon as she connected with Michael, it was a tower moment. It was a total upheaval, uprooting of her of what she knew as her life once before, if that makes, makes sense, not to sound dramatic, but it's like, this was so much different, such a different role. Like I haven't been in this series of a relationship role with someone before. And so there were a lot of nervous thoughts, just um, uh, inexperience, I would say. Um, with dealing with what comes along with being in a more serious relationship with someone. So sort of went into this with just a lack of experience. Um, however, <clears throat> with the four of discs and the death card, like, I feel like this symbolizes having a great foundation as a human being. Like, um, like, she's a really solid girl. <laughs> um, she has her head on straight, you know? Like, um, she has her priorities in order. So, again, when this relationship came up with Michael, it was just like, oh, gosh, this whole new version of myself is being birthed. Something that, like, I didn't realize I had in me. Um, like I was saying, with the lack of experience and it being a total upheaval with the tower and the death card, but I really like I'm solid. I I've had um, blessings, and so that has really made me an abundant person. Um, 
in the physical, but also just like, um, like her structure as a human being is just sort of like a. I I just I'm sorry. Solid is the only word that's coming to my head. Is just like she's just a solid girl. And then on Michael's end of things, again with the ace of discs being what is sort of hallmarking this part of the reading with missed opportunities. There have been lots of other uh, missed opportunities in relationships. Some of those things being due to like juggling too many people at once or maybe not being totally um, into a situation with someone else and having sort of a wandering eye and then eventually having to move forward, having to look to the future, having to sort of pick up the pieces and move forward, maybe some missed opportunities there. However, I, what's interesting with these two cards is it's like, <laughs> I feel like a lot of women really um, thirst after Michael B. Jordan, um, but he comes across like really sensitive. It's like, everyone sees me as like this super hot guy that is supposed to be like really cocky and like really arrogant. But at night, like I'd be lonely, I'd be sad. Like, <laughs> Um, I want to connect with somebody. I want to have somebody to go home to. Like, I don't want it to be just me and my money. Like, I don't like this. This is religious past that we're looking at. And so then the shared energy in between them with the eight of discs and the wheel of fortune in reverse is they were both coming to an end of a cycle and having to do a lot of self work, inner work before coming into this connection. So let's look at this connection currently. And with this, I'll just gonna say because it's, it's say I'm I'm hearing it in my head. It's like, what's the point of being the sexiest man alive if I come home and there's nobody really in my bed that actually cares about me? Kind of vibe. That's what it was like beforehand. Okay, the Hierophant with the Sun. This relationship makes her very happy. It's made her realize she wants more of a traditional relationship than she thought she did maybe previously. The King of Pentacles, what did I just say? Like she wants a strong man. Like she wants a strong partner and she feels like she has that with him. Like she has that solid love with the High Priestess and very connected with him at the soul. Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness. Aww. Eight of Wands, fast moving. Yeah, like it was rapid. Like they, when they became connected, it was like instant. Nine of Swords. What did I, what did I just say that I felt like I needed to say before that? What is the point of being the sexiest man alive if I come home and I'm depressed and I'm sad with the Seven of Cups? Yes, like he doesn't want any other options. Like he's not looking around. He doesn't have to feel that way anymore currently. King of Swords, like, has shifted consciously, like, on a conscious level with the Prince of Discs and has taken his time with this relationship. He's really taken his time with this relationship with her. He's not rushing. This, this, this comes off as, like, I realize what I have to the point where I'm not going to play with it. It's it's mature, you know what I mean? Like I I am aware of what what's really out there and I'm no longer looking around with this like wandering eye. This relationship is very important to me. It's on my mind a lot of the time and I'm taking my time with the growth of this relationship. The nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, like I want some resilience. I want this relationship to have legs, to have some solidness to stand on. So let's look at the near future for Lori and Michael. 
Like, she's smitten. It's not that he's not smitten. He is, but he's like... It's sobering kind of thing. Like, this makes it real now. And now that it's real, like, I can't mess around. The lovers, stop. The moon, there's still so much that's going to happen still. The six of wands, victory. The Ace of Cups, lots of great love, great love inside that he feels for her. She loves him too. Like, this is a soulmate. Soulmates. What are they? Soulmates. Yep. And the Seven of Swords in reverse. I keen mind. I need to be of sharp mind when it comes to this situation because this is my future. Yeah. And the magician in reverse. So this is something that they both feel like they manifested this particular relationship. Um, it's something that they wanted at the soul level. And that's why he's taking it so seriously. But it's also why for her, she just feels like in a place of bliss. Like, even though it's just like, when is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? Like, there's some mystery there. But, like, the mystery is fun. The mystery is, like, it's exciting because he excites me. Because he's, like, he's just made me realize things about myself and about what it means to be in a relationship that I value. And it's, like, that value is why he loves her. So, it's part of the reason why he loves her so much. So, I want to pull some final cards her overall energy his overall energy positive soulmate connection building roots and really trying to be mature The world possibilities are endless and there may be some like completion of something in this relationship whether that's like a marriage whether that's like a child two of cups what a, oh my gosh like I say like I love when I say things that I pull a card and it's and it reiterates it yeah like and she's about it too she's like are we trying to get married or what Ten of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Wands. I'm taking this very seriously internally. This is something that's not um, replaceable. It's not a replaceable connection. And it makes me feel like kind of like fired up. Like I have a desire to be the best version of myself because of this connection. And then at the bottom of the deck, the Hanged Man in reverse, which is coming across to me as just a deep um, insight at the soul level. I do think that where they are in their relationship right now, it may stay like this for a while because <clears throat> with everything that he's processing, it's like there is a download period, if that makes sense, in like his divine masculinity where he has to process all of the things that have just happened. And then after he processes it, he will move forward. Meanwhile, she'll just, you know, she's just in this sort of smitten loving place. But it's like he has a lot that he needs to process because of what he hopes this relationship will be like in the future. If you enjoy this reading, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification button so that you know every single time I upload. You can connect with me at Official Chinez on Instagram and TikTok, which are both linked below, as well as how you can help this channel grow and donate via Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.